Good morning, guys. It's Becky Bamboo. It's uh, Thursday, November 11th, 2010. It's Veterans Day. So for all of you out there who are veterans, I want to say a big thank you for serving our country and uh, keeping us all safe and secure here at home. So um, anyway, I do have a relative that's in the military. He's in the Navy. <clears throat> He's actually in Japan for the next uh, couple of years. And uh I, it's interesting how much you kind of um, you miss that fam those fl family members when they're gone in the military. Um, you know, I'm never I was never really close to my cousin, but <clears throat> I have a new appreciation for him. And uh, you know, it's it, we just got word that um, recently that he's going to make it home for Christmas this year, and that I think it's just going to be fantastic to see him. The last time I saw him was when my grandmother passed away and um, he flew in kind of urgently and um, <clears throat> it's a long way for him to come and it's very expensive that he has to pay the flights to get um, to get home and um, it's, a, it's just kind of cool that he's going to make it in. So Veterans Day and um, all those kind of days have a different meaning to me when you've known people who've been in the service. Um, I actually, my great my grandfather was in World War II, and he was a prisoner of war for like 13 months and I don't know how many days. Uh, and uh, so, you know, I just, I have a little bit of a different appreciation than I guess maybe some of people do. But I want to say thank you anyway. So, um, <clears throat> a couple of things. Got my ring back today, and I wanted to show you guys the little, I don't know fix that they gave me for the ring being way too huge and I don't know if it's even going to show up on here but you can see this little um, plastic thing here at the bottom it just wraps around the band you can kind of see it it's hard it moves there we go there. it wraps around the band and um so you can see kind of when you hold it up like this, it closes that gap a little bit. And so your finger sits on top of that rather than like down here on the band. So, um, by the way, my ring looks really gorgeous right now. They replated it. Look how pretty it is. I mean, it just, it always is so pretty when it's freshly plated like that. Um, it really, the really like the white gold of it sh shows. And I didn't realize how yellowed it was until I got it back yesterday. And I was like, oh my gosh. But uh, <laughs> it is working to hold my ring on. Um, it's not comfortable. That big wonkin' piece of plastic, you can see it on my hand. Um, it takes up a lot of space right there. And um, it's kind of pinchy. So it's not comfortable, but um, it'll work, and I guess, above all, I missed my wedding band, so I'm just going to deal with it for now, and we'll see how long I can deal with it, and if I can actually get used to it, uh, that big stupid thing being there. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, that's that. Last night ended up being quite a miserable night for me. I, I made the video, my sweating it video, and then... Um, my wonderful husband who, oh my gosh, he has been, his, his transformation is um, almost as good as mine. I have to tell you, um, I came home at 8 o'clock last night to um, him outside in the dark barbecuing chicken because um, he didn't want us to be eating crappy food. How nice is that? I just love that. I love that he was considerate enough to cook dinner knowing that I was going to be gone. And I actually worked um, all the way up until the point that I had to leave to go to do my water aerobics class. And so for, for to come home and have, he had been out and picked up my ring and he had been home and made dinner. And oh, it was just so nice to come home to a hot meal like that. Um, but uh, um, I had dinner. And I thought everything was fine. I mean, everything went down fine. I was, you know, not, I didn't think anything about it. And I decided, okay, well, I'm going to go take a shower because I was, you know, sweaty and smelled like chlorine and all that stuff. And while I was in the shower, um, I like to take a really hot shower. I don't know about anybody else, but I like the water hot. And um, all of a sudden, I started to feel very dizzy. And I'm like, this is weird. And... Um, I was putting conditioner in my hair 
And uh, I just kind of, like, I had to stop. And I had to stand there. And I was, like, taking, it was like I couldn't catch my breath. I was taking really deep breaths and like it, nothing was like helping me catch my breath. And I'm like, what the hell? This is bizarre because I've never like this has never happened to me before ever. And so I was just like, OK, so I hurry up and tr start to rinse my hair out. And I like I can feel like I'm going to pass out. And I'm like, oh, my God, what in the hell is going on? So. I hurried up and shut the water off and I hurried up and got out of the shower and sat on the toilet because I was like, I seriously thought I was going to pass out. And I was like, well, at least if I pass out from the toilet, I'm not going to fall all the way out of the tub or something. So, um, I was more worried about my safety really. So I hurried up and got out and I sat down on the edge of the tub and I, um, we shower with the door, bathroom door cracked open because we don't have a fan in there. And so it gets really humid and all that so I yelled I said Jared and so he came running and I think just must have been from the way that I said his name like he he knew that uh, something was not right with me and he comes in and I'm like of course I'm like dripping wet and I'm dripping water all over the bathroom and he's like what are you doing <laughs> I'm like I think I'm gonna pass out and he's just like oh my god so he's like kind of panicking and so I sit there and I put my my towel over my head and I kind of try to like slow my breathing down because at this point I like I'm breathing like I have been on an elliptical for an hour or something like I'm just kind of trying to catch my breath and it was so bizarre and um, so all of a sudden I'm like oh I think I'm gonna get sick and I got really nauseous and, and he's like are you really I'm like yeah I think I'm gonna get sick and uh, so I sat there and I didn't get sick and I, uh, kind of the, like the dizziness was still there. And so I was like, okay, well I need to go lay down. So I hurried up and toweled off and, um, as best I could. And when I stood up, it was so much worse. Like, uh, my stomach hurt and I was just so dizzy and my heart was racing and I was breathing heavy and it was like so weird. And so I went and lay down in bed and, um, kind of was laying there and he was in sitting in there with me and he's like what is going on and I just went oh my god I'm dumping and he's like you're dumping I'm like yeah I'm dumping he's like well, what what did we have that would have made you dump so we kind of sat there trying to go through it and I realized it was the barbecue sauce from the chicken um, I had looked at our barbecue sauce a while back and noticed like it has like 23 grams of sugar in like a really small amount. And uh, I, that's the only thing that I could come up with that it was. Um, I said, oh my God, yeah, I'm totally dumping. And I just, because I felt like so crappy and I felt like I did the first time I dumped, which was in like week seven or something. And um, I just, my stomach was kind of like, I was kind of cramped up and um, kind of nauseous. My heart was racing and I was real dizzy. And um, initially, uh, my first thought was is that I was get, I, in the shower that I was got, that I got too hot. That all the steam and all of the the hot water, you know how kind of like you can't be in a, a sauna or a hot tub for an extended period of time because you get you can get really like dizzy and sick and stuff from that. So that's kind of was my first thought. But then um, once I got into the bedroom and I kind of laid there and uh, really started to evaluate my symptoms. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm to this is totally dumping. And uh, so it was kind of a miserable night last night. Uh, I didn't sleep well. I have a pounding headache. Uh, I had a headache all night long and it wouldn't go away. And you know, anybody who's dumped knows that it's just not fun. And so I woke up this morning and I just feel crappy. Like I just feel like I didn't get any rest and I'm worn out and my stomach's upset and I have no interest in eating whatsoever. Um, I don't have any interest in drinking. It's just going to be a, a very miserable day, I can already tell. But uh, yeah, so a good night went bad. Like my week has just gone from bad to worse. Like, um, all this shit that's going on with my job totally sucks, and, um, and there's a lot going on with my job right now. 
And then, you know, having to work all these ridiculous hours and ugh, that just sucks so bad. And then dumping on top of it. Like, it was not bad enough. I needed to do something more dramatic. So um, this is just a lesson for everybody out there. Check your barbecue sauce. Um, barbecue sauce has a lot of sugar in it, and I guess I didn't think a lot about it. I knew I had seen that before, but I assumed that there wasn't enough on the chicken that it was going to make a difference. And I don't eat like a whole piece of chicken anyway. So I thought, well, for the little bit I'm going to eat, it's probably not going to matter. And oh my God, did it matter. <laughs> it mattered so bad. Um, yeah, so I guess that's a good lesson for you guys out there. Uh, look at the sauces that you use for grilling and stuff like that. I know we had we have one sauce that we use um, that kind of comes in a little jar, and it is doesn't have very much sugar in it at all. Well, we ran out of that, so my husband just used the bottle of what we had in the fridge, which has been in there for a while, and. Um, Sure enough, I went and looked this morning, and it has a ton of sugar. I think there's 23 grams of sugar in two tablespoons, and I'm sure there was that much sauce on the chicken that I had. There was a lot of sauce on it, because I like my grilled meats saucy. I don't like them dry, so um, in the past, my husband just has learned to sauce it up good for me, and uh, oh my gosh, it was a demise last night, so... Nonetheless, uh, that's that's my story, you guys. It's it's not a good one, but I'm excited to have my ring back, um, even if it is uncomfortable. It looks so pretty right now. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, water aerobics last night rocked. That new instructor, I am sore today. My abs are sore. She rocks it out, man. It's so nice to have um, a challenging. Um, instructor and I told I told Jared last night when I got home I said you know my thighs and my belly are gonna slim down taking this class because we do a lot of like work that makes my thighs burn and a lot of ab work and um, you know that's exactly where I need it so I'm really really glad to um, to have that class now I uh, I do miss the old instructor just because her personality was a little bit um, a little better I think and um, I know I've known her for so long I think that's what it was it was a comfort level with Beverly because I've been going to her class for about three years um, so it's still a transition period to get used to the new lady but um, she gives me a much better workout and I am happy with that so Tonight, hopefully, I will hit the elliptical. Um, that is my plan to get moving tonight. Um, I don't know um, what time I'll get to it. I have another long work day, but I will exercise at some point tonight. It definitely helps me control my stress level, and I was stressed out majorly yesterday. So I feel more calm in that regard today. And um, somebody commented on my Facebook status how what a remarkable lifestyle change it is when you go from sitting on the couch after a stressful day eating crap to um, going to the gym to sweat out your misery and your frustrations and uh, gosh I don't want to I don't want to go back to the other way I feel so much better getting all that out and I get so much better workout because I'm pissed off and I'm stressed out and whatever other shit I'm feeling at the time so um, for those of you who don't exercise a lot and you have stressful days go hit the gym I'm telling you you will get the workout of your life when you're like all worked up over whatever, you know, bad crap's going on in your life. So um, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. Happy Veterans Day. Get those flags out there. Love you guys. Mwah.